Everybody, Big Mess, Mess of Branch Outdoors, and today we're going to tie one of my guide nymphs. Kind of looks like an Iron Lotus, kind of looks like a Frenchie. It's a hybrid between the two, so let's get started tying this rascal. So here in my Norvice fly tying system, Liberty Blue Legacy C. I'm going to be sliding in here a size 16 nymph hook with a uh, slotted tungsten bead. This is a red, metallic red, 3.0 millimeter bead. The thread we'll be using is going to be brown to match the body of the fly. We're going to get that started here on this here real quick. Now, one of the things I am going to do in this particular um, time is I'm actually going to use my tag. And it's going to allow me to get a really flat body on this particular bug. That is really important. So I'm going to get that out of the way. The next material we're going to tie in is going to be the natural pheasant tail fibers. For the tail, we're going to keep that pretty sparse. So I'm just going to pull off a few of those there. As you can see, it's really sparse. Spin my thread counterclockwise. I want to make a few wraps on that. Now I want to pull it to where I want it to go for my tail length. Not too long, not too short. Once again, though, I am going to slowly walk this up, keeping this thread pretty flat. Instead of rotating my vise, I'm actually going to do this. And I'm going to end here in this general area. And there's going to be a reason for that you'll see in just a hot minute. The next thing we're going to tie in is going to be some small red wire. This is ultra wire. You use the wire you want to use. It's perfectly fine. I want to get that started. Tying that in here. There we go. Now, once again, I'm just going to make even wraps back to the back of this, trying to keep this body pretty thin. It's not going to be perfect, but as you can see right here, folks, if you made it this far, if you would hit that like and subscribe button, we would love for you to do that. We'd appreciate it. We're almost to 400 subscribers. We need to get that 500 and then 1,000. Next material is going to be some body quill material. This is in brown. It's kind of a lighter brown uh, color. We're going to take and we're going to tie that material in. I'm going to get that started as well. Boom, just like so. And that's going to be our body. So I am going to do a whip finish right there, get that secured. Now I will take and I'm going to rotate my Norvice just like so. And I'm going to build this body up through here. And this fly is actually going to be fairly dark. So when we get up here like so, I'm going to capture that. Once again, keeping a thin body. It's very pheasant tail-esque in a lot of ways, but this synthetic material, it's very, very durable. If you haven't used anything like this, there's several uh, different ones you can use material-wise that you might like. And now what I'm doing is I'm taking that red wire and I'm going to wrap that up here to the front, counter wrapping it, and we're gonna come right there to behind the bead going to bring my thread over from the post. I'm going to capture that a few times. Come in here like that. Oh, bingo. I'm going to break that off just like so. Just a real tiny piece here. I'm going to set it to the side. I may or may not have a use for it. We are almost done. So I am going to kind of put a little bit of a half hitch in there just like so. The longest part of this process right here is we're going to go ahead and coat this with a little bit of UV resin. This here is some Solares UV resin. I want to put a little bit here on the, the body and we will spread that around, I promise. Just like so. Set this over here out of the way. Appreciate the comments. Appreciate you folks that have been watching the Creek Talk there. There's a good one up that's not got a whole lot of views about the stocking situation here in North Carolina. So if you've not watched it, you need to go take a look at it. I'm going to hit that there with my UV light. I do like to rotate that there pretty quick. Wham, that's pretty cool. We got good coverage. And then last but not least, all we're going to do is use a little bit of UV Ice Dove. A little bit goes a long ways. So I'm just going to pull a little bit out here, just like so. And you can take all of these particular techniques that we're doing here and apply them to any nymph that you're tying out there. I'm going to get that started there right quick onto my thread. I promise. There we go. Maybe not so much today. There we go. There we go. My bad. See, sometimes it happens when you're on film. 
it takes a little bit longer. Usually it spins right up. So I'm going to keep this little noodle here pretty thin. Sometimes the less is more, just like that. Then I'm going to take my whip finish tool. We're going to do a series of whip finishes. Lock that down in there pretty good. Pretty good. And then one more. We are ready to rock and roll. This has been working really well. We have a lot of case caddis on the rocks right now, almost like a chimney caddis. And uh, these colors work good. And I think the combination of the red, I am just a huge fan of the red and some of these subsurface patterns. Just works really good. Cool thing about this, you can mix it up. You can do olive if you want to. Another, another great choice. Olive is a fantastic choice. But hopefully you can see here that material with that wire in through there. You see the UV resin, it darkens up. It gives a really, really great look. We'll go really sparse on your tail right there. And once again, don't go too crazy with that dubbing as well. So there you go. Another quick video there for you folks. Make sure you check out the likes and the, uh, the links in the comment section. We appreciate you watching and we will catch y'all in a couple of weeks. See ya.